What's up, everybody? Ben Raz and Aton Shander here for Odd Shopper, and we are back building more same game parlays for the NBA yep. slate tonight. A lot of options, a lot of big games. But you know what? One of the things, and we're actually interested to see how this goes. We looked at the slate today, Aton. We saw Grizzlies and Bucks. We saw Clippers and Nuggets. And we saw some big time ugly games. But you know what? With betting, the value, the best bets, they're not always in the marquee games. And uh, honestly, ironically, today we identified a game that's a little under the radar. And it's certainly not one that I'm too interested in, but it's near and dear <laughs> to your heart. We're talking Magic and Philadelphia 76ers. Your boys uh, are on the slate tonight. Look, we've seen this right up through last night, right? Tuesday night with a two-game slate. It was the Warriors and Pistons. No way you'd rush to that game if there were no. five to ten other games on the slate. But since it was just that, we watched it. We bet it. Shout out to Lofty in the first quarter. Shout out to the Island game for the first half. A lot of stuff cashed. Wiggins threes. So same opportunity here. Just because there's one super bad team in this game, and even if they were both, doesn't mean that there isn't a lot of value to take advantage of game flow and kind of how we see things play out, especially with a blowout factor in there and knowing that the Sixers can't really afford to take anybody lightly as well. So a couple of key factors, I think, that are ultimately going to end up making us some money. So we got a 12 point spread here. Sixers are at we home, can. but to total doesn't really stand out 214 and a half. So we we dug in. We went to Odd Chopper. We identified some of the best player props. And we built them in a same game parlay here. Now, if you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. It's good to have you guys. If you're watching for the first time, you want to support us, just hit that like button. Appreciate it. Helps us immensely. And if you want more videos like this from VODs where you're getting the picks or VODs where you're learning about it, we've got same game parlay tutorials on this channel. Hit that subscribe button right there. You join the community, be part of the team. But let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> we got a three leg same game parlay. As you can see, seven over seven to one we're starting okay. though with joel Embiid under 28 and a half it's always scary obviously big time player against the magic but odd chopper is under this we have him projected in the 24 point range you and me were both in agreement this is a good starting point so talk to me about why you think Embiid, who will be effective tonight maybe doesn't go crazy on on the stat sheet two things one the team is healthy and we saw this against washington where it was more of an outlier the only real productivity that the team got was from Embiid and to a lesser extent, Maxi. That's not a consistent thing when everybody is back, when you have the depth that the Sixers can provide as opposed to how thin they were with both injury and COVID. So it takes some pressure off of this need for Embiid to get to 30, 30 plus points. The team can win effectively with three or four guys getting to that 20, 22 point range. It's going to happen, especially against the Magic. So that's one. Two, the blowout factor. Look, I like the Sixers. They aren't as dominant as we've seen year in and years out, Ben, at home. But they should have somewhat of a home court advantage against the Magic. They should be up enough. I do think that Embiid is not necessarily 100% either at this point of the season. So there's plenty of opportunity to rest him later in that game, especially when you're up. 30 points, 29 points, 30 points. If he's not banging threes, if he's not getting to the free throw line, why exert energy against the Magic when you can comfortably knock down a couple of buckets and get up big? Yeah, again, it, it, he's a superstar. These guys, night in and night out, can, can hang 30 on anyone. But I think the peripherals, the small edges, do lean to the under here. You mentioned the blowout factor. You mentioned the team in terms of personnel getting a little stronger, getting a little more robust. I just don't think we're going to see him shoulder the load to the extent that he's having to do night in and night out, maybe even just a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. we got things started there. Now this is where it gets interesting. We get to Seth Curry and we've got him twice in the parlay. The first one <laughs> is on his three pointers made. We have it at three or more. So he's got to hit three plus three pointers in this game. Obviously a lethal shooter. We want the volume to be there. We need the volume to be there. What do you think about this? How did you arrive at this number? And what do you think about uh, our chances in this leg of the prop? I'm looking at Washington as the major outlier here. And it was a game in which nobody outside again of Embiid and Maxi to a lesser extent showed up. Seth Curry, I don't even think he took an attempt until the fourth quarter in that game. And it was just inexcusable across the board. So if you remove that, you don't have many games in the month of January where Curry has 
not hit three threes, right? So if you look at, first off, the attempts are through the roof here. He's taking nine, nine. And again, I'm removing the outlier, which is Washington, the most recent game, because it was a stat outlier for a lot of people on this team. Benefit to Curry is he's taking nine, nine before that. He, the one dip here was when he went two for four against Charlotte, but every other game, has been at least three makes from three. When the team is healthy, it takes some pressure off of him as well to put the ball on the floor. It's a lot easier to get lost for him in this offense with Harris, Maxi, and Bede cooking as well. So I like opportunity here. He's definitely been not going to get only two looks from three. That's not going to be a consistent thing. Seth Curry healthy equals five to six looks from three. We should be, at least we should be able to get three here. Yeah, I'm hoping at least that. Obviously, Orlando, they don't do much well, and they don't defend the three-point line well. 36%, right. 24th in the league. And you mentioned Curry's cleared this in five of seven. He's playing, I mean, he's basically an auto lock for 30-plus minutes. Even in a blowout, he could push for mid-30s, even upper 30s in some of these games. I think he can have seven, eight, nine attempts. You get that, you're going to get the volume. The make should come with it, so... That will help, obviously, a small edge, but every three that Steph, uh, Seth Curry makes is points that Joel Embiid is not scoring, and that's what we want in this. To complete it, to round it out, mm -hmm. we have Seth Curry under four and a half assists. This is a plus money prop, so this is where we're really bolstering the payout. This is why we're getting north of seven to one here. It's a little dicey, but talk to me again how this gels. Obviously, we don't want him passing the ball to Embiid for makes here. If we get this right, that's where we get the payoff. But how do you think we approach Seth Curry under four and a half? I just don't think we'll see him as a main vehicle of getting buckets. A, a secondary means of getting buckets is if it's passing, if it's making the extra pass. You don't want Seth Curry to make the extra pass. You want him to take that shot. Again, we talked about Tyrese Maxey having that game against Washington. So clearly him being able to put the ball on the floor, help distribute is going to take some pressure or just need off of Curry. Tobias Harris continuing to score a threat to get to the rim also opens up his ability to pass the basketball. And ultimately, we have Joel Embiid under points. So Curry can benefit from some pressure. And if he is going to make any extra pass, it would be to kind of skip it back or at least try to put the ball on the floor and get it down low, right? That's the option. If it's not Curry from outside, then it's try to get the ball back into Joel Embiid. If we're fading Embiid from a point stand, stand here, then it makes sense to also fade Seth Curry from an assist standpoint as well. That's, I think, the important thing. When you look at the box score, you're going to be nervous about this. That's why it's plus money. Seth, Seth Curry has been distributing. Sure. He's been clearing four and a half assists in a lot of games. Now, he's gotten five. He's won this by the hook several times here. But clearly, Joel Embiid is one of the main drivers for these assists. And if he doesn't make the shot, we are benefiting in two out of our three legs. And that is so key when you're doing these. You want to build correlation in there. You want to plan for that. And I think we've done that. And then you look at it. It's all about the payout it doesn't matter what you're betting if the value is not there you're not going to be successful long term over seven to one for this i like it we've told the story and we're getting a really good payoff now we just need your boys to take care of business tonight look i you know i actually feel a lot more confident in that last play than the odds would indicate you mentioned the hook of all the games this month and what are they seven of them three have been by the hook so there's a yep. little volatility there, but even over that. So I'm the fact that we're getting that big of a return, like that should probably be more towards even money, if not maybe minus 105. So I feel pretty good about what we've done here. I think they'll take care of it. Look, it's the magic, right? If they lose to the magic, then I'm banished. And we no more Sixers on any same game parlay for the history of this show. How about that? I, I like where your head's at. There we got it. Joel Embiid under 28 and a half points. Seth Curry, three or more made threes. And Seth Curry, once again, under four and a half assists, plus 719. There you have it. Same game parlay for me, for Aton, for Odd Shopper. Hit that like button your way out. Good luck tonight. Enjoy the games and stay tuned for more same game parlays here on the channel. We'll talk to you guys soon. See you.